This match has USA Shoot Boxing Anthony Anderson of Oklahoma City. Now he's a Japan and US Shoot Boxing champion, 162 pounds. He'll be taking on an opponent three pounds lighter, a Thai kickboxing champion, Shemhuad Kiatadisiak. Very, very well done. I knew you were here for good reason, <laughs> besides your expert commentary, to pronounce these names. He's from Bangkok, number five Thai middleweight. And, well, that's just a tough name. Here we go, there's the bell. <laughs> Anthony, very aggressive right from the start. He's in the dark trunks. The lighter trunks are Jim Wad. He's a Thai kickboxer. Both of these guys very serious, going from the leg kicks right off the bat. The technique that's used in both of their sports. They're under Thai rules, by the way. Going inside with one another, and boy, Anthony's got a mean look on his face. He's come to fight. Definitely come to rumble, but he's got to get his hands up. He's not protecting his face much. Big right tried by Anthony, doesn't work. You have to watch those knees. Chumwad coming with that knee as you talked about, the right and then the left. Anthony down, but it's just a slip. The shoot boxer already thinking, Two minutes well, in the round. what kind of technique can I use here to my advantage? Very dangerous turning his back to his opponent. Yeah, he really is, and he's got to keep his hands up because one punch could do it. As we almost uh, had everybody in our lap right there, the Sony was almost blowny. <laughs> now, Anderson is forcing the kickboxer to do something that generally they don't like to do, which is to start hard in the first round. They usually like to use the first round to size up the opponent, size up one another. Anthony's coming on hard and strong. Forcing a fast pace. Too. I notice Anthony's slipping quite a bit with the wraps that he has on his legs. I wouldn't be surprised to see him lose those between between rounds. Good knees again by Chumwad. As Anthony goes down, just a slip as Chumwad had moved and Anthony was leaning on him. Good leg kicks. Anthony's already lost a little sting in his punches, though. Yes. Trying for a big uppercut. Good combination yeah. the left. He needs to use, lose those wraps, though. He's losing his balance, you know, his, uh, just his, the weight behind his punches as he's sliding. Again, another slip. That won't be counted as anything. Just a slip. Kick to the back of the thigh by Anthony there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That was dangerous, missing just by a fraction of an inch, the big kick to the head. Only about 20 seconds to go in round number one. Shoot boxing against Thai kickboxing. And the Thai fighter doing a nice job, although Anthony from Oklahoma City is holding his own, the shoot boxer, with his back to you. Kietadisiak really working those lower legs. We've reached the end of round number one, but we'll have more in just a moment. A good opening round between Anthony Anderson of Oklahoma City, USA shoot boxing champion, and Jim Wad, who's from the Thai kickboxing school, and he comes out awfully aggressive here. And Anthony didn't lose the uh, the wraps, and I think got him on. I think that's just a real problem because it's too slippery. The combination between that and the, the particular surface that's the canvas is making it very hard for him to get any leverage behind his kicks and punches. He's slipping all over the place. Good right though as he stays away from the tie. A little bit of a low kick. Ref says, keep that up. As in, don't do it again. Keep the kick up above the waist. Good left by Anthony. Tie counters with the leg sweeping kick. Anthony goes down just a slip. Anthony trying to predominantly box here, but he wants to stay away from that knee. That hurt. Yeah. These low leg kicks are going to add up in a while. He's going to have to retaliate. Anthony's getting upset, but keeping that left leg for now back behind him, making it harder to kick.
He's almost been kicked in the groin three times in this round now. Kodisiak really going for that back leg of his. Good, Good overhand right. Keeping himself in it. He's really taken a number of leg kicks. Doing a good job of withstanding the punishment. Good left got between the gloves. Good left! And Jim Watt's in trouble with a minute to go in round two. Good combinations. Jim Watt trying to go back to the knees again of Anderson. Anthony in trouble there. He's not going to Anthony is in trouble. Well. He's trying to get out, but you've got to protect yourself while you're getting out. Good punching. Body. Good. That's a slip. Pretty good use by Anthony Anderson, though. He cannot turn his back to this man as much as he's doing. 30 seconds left as they exchange kicks. Every time Anthony gets kicked, he gets a little bit more furious. He keeps slipping, though, quite a bit. Yeah. He's starting to feel those, those kicks to the thigh. Round number two is history. Oh, two punches after the bell to his ribs and midsection. Anthony's really got to protect himself against more of those leg kicks, too, somehow. He's got to figure out a way to, to do so. Oh, big, it's over. The knockout will probably come from his head having hit the canvas harder than he got punched, or kicked, rather. And Chumawad Kidiziak is going to be the winner. This fight will be stopped, and hopefully Anthony Anderson from Oklahoma City, a Japan and USU boxing champion, will be okay. One kick was it, and here's another look at it. A strong right. Straight up across the chin. Got him in the chin. Got him. Into the third round. My knockout, Jamhuad Kiata Disiak. One punch, one kick. That's all it takes sometime. And that was the case here as Thai kickboxing defeats USA shootboxing. Jamhuad, the winner over Anthony Anderson.